Optic recently released another set of fans, the P12 RGB 0DB. Wow, they, they just have a run right now. But despite the name suggesting that it's just another generic P12 with a couple of RGBs in the center, look, it has a ring around it. This episode is brought to you by CDCovers.com. CD Covers offers a wide variety of software or game keys for a fraction of the usual retail price. You can get your usual PC game codes or even library codes for things like Steam, Uplay and Origin. But the most important part for us are the software codes. Here we can get software activation codes for things like MS Office or Windows 10 for a ridiculously cheap price. And right now you can also use the promo code TS20 to get a 20% discount to make the already cheap Windows 10 license even cheaper. If you want to get that nasty activation message away, make sure to head down to the links in the description below and don't forget to use the promo code TS20 for a 20% discount. Okay, so I have a box of these Arctic P12 PVM PST ARGB 0DB and right from the get-go you will get exactly two things in here, the fans and the screws. Nothing more, nothing less. Not even the iPhone shaped manual QR code. But in the end, the box is packed to the roof and even though I love how manufacturers design their PC hardware boxes, this must be the most environmentally friendly packaging I ever got. So greater approved I guess. Okay, so on the fans themselves, those are 120mm case fans that are able to spin at 2000 RPM while pushing 48.8 CFM at 1.85mm of H2O. So, so just like the Bionics P120s, we have a set of fans where the Sano looks like it's a P12, yet it performs a little bit worse. And the reason for that is probably the same, just a little bit different. If we compare them to the P12s, the fan wings seem to be identical, but the central piece is a bit bigger. Thus, we end up with the same phenomenon, less wing surface, less airflow, ramp up the motor, more airflow, but still a bit beneath. Okay, we've seen that, but what made me interested in these is the ring around the fans. So, I know that type of ring. I remember many, many years ago, like, I was still in high school years ago, there was this really big next thing for PC case fans. It was called Noise Blocker E-Loop and it was basically a fan that had all the wings attached to each other by that big round circle around it. And it had a couple of notches on the air cutting side of the wing. And their explanation for this was that these cuts in the wings made the air sounds quieter while the ring around it had to, to direct the air into a specific direction while eliminating any turbulences and, and thus creating a way quieter but more efficient solution. Back then these fans were expensive and until today I never got the test one but I saw implementation of this pop up here and there and now finally with the Arctic P12 0DB I have my chance to test it and see if that ring actually does anything. Now, speaking on that 0dB, that's actually just another little gimmick that Arctic built in here that allows the fan to fully stop if the PVM signal gets beneath 10%. And you might think that's stupid, but it actually has a reason. A generic PC fan with PVM can theoretically go from 0 to 100%. Now, the issue is that once you get to the really low PVM levels, it can happen that the pulse signal that tells the motor to, to rotate is not happening often enough to make it spin evenly until the next cycle. This can then result in like clicking noises or motor ramping noises on each cycle. And this can be really really annoying. And here comes that 0 dB mode, which basically just kills the power underneath 10%. I think it's a cool thing to have, but there are many fans that, that are doing this, they just don't give it a special name. On a side note, PVM is a nice concept, but it has quite the tolerances, so it can happen that even if you set it to 10%, the fan will keep spinning because your motherboard thinks that 10% means plus minus 15%, so just keep that in mind. 
Okay, now on the connection side. This is as arctic as it gets. A daisy chainable PVM connection and a daisy chainable 5 volt RGB connection. So you can run a ton of these P12s with a single fan header and a single 5 volt addressable header. For the RGB it's very much okay. There are a couple of lights in the central piece and Arctic made sure to make them bright enough so that the light can travel to the very end of the fan. The fact that the circle all around is also made of that milky acrylic creates an effect where it, it looks like you are having a RGB ring around the fan where actually there isn't anyone. Okay, now enough on the generic stuff, let's see the results. In our usual test, the P12 0dB managed to keep the 3600X at 64 degrees C, just 2 degrees behind the P12. Letting them spin at 50% speed placed it at the same position with 81 degrees C, again 2 degrees C behind the original P12. So the 0dB version of the P12 performs slightly worse than the original one, but it is still very very high on our charts. Now, more shocking than I initially thought was the noise. Having a 0dB mode only means that it will not spin beneath certain speeds, but I wasn't expecting the fan to be that quiet all the time. During all of our tests, no matter the speed, these fans were unhearable, or at the very least, surprisingly quiet. Common sense would suggest that because of the higher speeds it should be louder than the original P12, yet it, it just isn't. So I'm guessing that this is because of that ring around the fans. Maybe it is really removing turbulences, I don't know, but it is really really quiet. Okay, so to sum up the fan. It is simple and it works, it performs really good, the RGB is more than enough, it is daisy chainable, it is dead silent, and there is no fancy controller or any proprietary stuff, nothing. And the price is also more like what I expected from Arctic, around 37 euros for a 3 pack, and that puts it just slightly above the P12, and that's a pretty normal Arctic price. Now, on the could have been better side, I have one thing, or, or more like a question. Why do the RGB and PVM connections come out on different sides of the fan? Like, if you would want to have three of them installed in the front, like glued to each other, and you have very, very little space on the left and right, it, it will never work. Like, yeah, the, the wires are thin, but they are sticking out a bit. So, no matter how you will orient them, two of them will always have a wire between them. They, they will just never be flush. Why? Just make them come out of a single side, please. Okay, this should sum it up for the Arctic P12, ARGB, 0DB and all the other names. At this point I would like to thank Arctic for providing us these amazing fans and I hope you've enjoyed the video and if so make sure to leave a like and be subscribed to not miss the next Arctic review because they also sent over a because they also sent over a liquid freezer too so finally I will have my baseline water cooler anyway I can't wait to test it but see you next time